Hello and welcome to Universal Discovery. Today we have with us Temple Boy Turnings, Steve Twydell. How are you today, Steve? Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. I'm doing great. So your channel is doing really good, by the way. Um, it's a very interesting channel you have. I enjoy watching all your projects and everything. Oh, I guess first off we need to explain what your channel is about. Would you care to do that? Yeah, my channel is primarily about wood turning even though I haven't done much wood <laughs> in a lot of the videos. Um, yeah, I started off just a, a year ago, just started um, tinkering about with the, with the lathe and doing some wood turning, and uh, I kind of just developed from there, trying different products and things. So it's, it's more of an entertain, entertainment channel, I suppose, in that way that um, I'm not really um, doing tutorials, but rather than just showing the pieces and the fun that I have making them. Okay, so... You use a lot of, like you said, uh, not as much wood as you do other things. Like what brought me to your channel, it showed up in a stream of using CDs to make projects with. Um, yeah. It's very interesting. How did you come up with that idea? Okay, so quite simply, um, years ago, back in the mid-90s, I was a, a DJ in, in England. And uh, obviously as a DJ, you collect a lot of CDs most of which are pretty rubbish, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I had probably in the region of about 2,000 CDs up in my loft, and it was just time to get rid. And uh, I threw them all into a box, and my workshop now, it's, it used to be in this small shed that I'm in now, but now I've, I've got like a, a small cottage that I um, turn from. I just took them all down to there and threw them to the side one day and... I thought, hmm, I wonder if I stick all those together and put them on the lathe, could I make something? So I threw on the camera and I tried it and uh, the rest is history. It's it's done very well for me, that video. <laughs> it is very interesting and the things you make uh, when you color the, the CDs and the cases and everything and the marble effect, it's just it's a very interesting idea you had and very you. creative. So you just recorded the the thing how did you decide to post it on YouTube okay so I, I was already on YouTube at that stage um, okay. and I already done a project previous to that of sticking color pencils together and turning a goblet that was a three a three-part episode that I did and I was just getting into doing the videos and stuff like that and uh, like I said with my video I wanted to kind of show the process that you don't necessarily have to go down the traditional route when you're doing something. <laughs> Always kind of be true to yourself and, and and don't be afraid to experiment and stuff. And that's what I do. I experiment and I, I always show my mistakes as well. I, I try and teach my kids that, that, you know, showing your mistakes shows you that you're willing to accept it and learn from it and move on. And it, I think it's very important to show your mistakes. A lot of uh, videos out there that you do watch on YouTube especially you can see where they've just been completely edited and you can actually when you're doing as much wood turning as I'm doing you can actually see where the mistakes have happened and you can see the change in the piece on the video now someone that's not really that much into the actual turning of it wouldn't notice it that much but I just think if you're going to be trying to teach someone or show someone what you're doing, then show it all, and don't be afraid to show that you've made a mistake, because, like I say, I've learned from my mistakes. So. I like that mentality. That's that's very... Yeah. I like that. I know the most recent video that you've done was of the goblet. Would you Do you have that nearby? I do. It's just here. That's, the, that's it really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, it came out really, uh, really well. You can see the way the colors shine through it. It's very nice. I know in your video um, you said it took quite a few CD cases. Do you use CD cases only, or did you use CDs also? No, I can't remember. That one is just purely CD cases. Yeah, there's a, I think I counted around about 50 or 60 cases in, in, in that piece. Yeah. That's very nice. How long does it take to actually complete a project like that? How many hours? I suppose... The, the glue up to, to make the blanks, you're probably looking from cutting all the CDs. It starts from processing the CDs, as you see in the video. I, I've, I've made little jigs and tools and things to, to kind of speed that process up now. So from, from 
just the CDs to getting the blanks glued up, I think it was around about five hours. And then the turning, I probably turned it in a couple of hours. So it's it's more the process of it is, is more time consuming and then the hours of editing then afterwards. So. Yeah, so you put a lot of effort into your videos. Yeah. And, I mean, it shows I, I really enjoy watching them. And I think, I mean, you have a pretty broad fan base also. So um, Yeah. Yeah, I do, yeah. A lot of my subscribers are actually gamers, I think. Oh, really? Which is surprising to me, but um, I think it's more the... I think it's the CDs that drew those guys into me, you know, because obviously it's it's jumping on their links and stuff on, on YouTube, and they've enjoyed it. And I think, to be honest with you, I mean, I'm a 45-year-old guy. I think um, a lot of 45-year-old guys out there are putting diddly-diddly music and, and things like that to their... To their videos or no music at all it's just the sound of the machine machinery in the background but because of my dj background i like music i like a whole genre of music and because of the strict restrictions we have with youtube i kind of try and pick what other people would enjoy as well and i kind of put that funky vibe to it and i think that's what's drawing different subscribers as well is the fact that it's not just some old dude turning stuff on a leg <laughs> <laughs> the the music is like when I first watched your the first video I can't remember what it was maybe I don't remember it was something with CDs I've watched quite a few of your videos now so it's yeah. hard to keep track of but um that's the first one there that's the one that I had all that's the one that's had I think seven hundred thousand views oh, okay at the moment so that's the one that I had nothing but trouble with I kind of keep my first projects, a lot of the time, that I try. Now, I've sold a couple of them, which is great, but uh, I'll, I'll never sell this one because it was just heartache from the start to the finish, but uh, <laughs> it's been good to me on YouTube, so. Nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's great. Um, the music that you do put in, like you were saying, though, um, that's what, one of the things that kept me coming back was the overlay of the music and how you speed up the footage and slow it down at times. And it was just very lethargic, very relaxing, and just very peaceful video. Just uh, it's a great way to unwind. When I see that you have a new video at night, I feel great about it. You know, I'm like, that's all right, great. I guess I should. That's, that's great. It's great to know that. And, and I do generally get that feedback. You know, it's, a lot of people say they're no interest in wood turning at all, but just to watch to watch the video they find it relaxing and that I suppose I try and put that across as well with my videos because it's my way of relaxing as well I mean that I've said in past videos before that I, I originally started my um, my YouTube channel and videoing myself because it was a process of getting over depression I do suffer from depression so I use videos a lot to, to, to deal with that and I use wood turning a lot now a lot of the wood turning you guys wouldn't see because I'm using it as a process and I wouldn't necessarily be in the right mood to be seen on video, you know, which I suppose, to be honest with you, it'd be a good thing to show too because there are a lot of guys and girls out there that, that do suffer from depression and to, just to see that you can get through it from doing something like this. And and also at the beginning of, the, of my channel, um, way back, I, well, it's not even that far ago, it's just, just <laughs> under two years, just under two years, my father just passed away as well. So I had a lot of stuff going on. And it was a really, really good way of channeling all that, I don't know, anger and sorrow and grief and, and doing something productive from it. And then it boosts you then because you're getting a, more times than not good feedback. And uh, it does, it makes you just think, oh, well, I can do something. And, you know, there's no, there's no point just sitting down and, and dwelling on it and, and get on with it. And that's kind of what I've done. And, and I think because of the feedback I've had, that's what's given me that drive to improve my videos. You know, I've I haven't just kind of sat back and said, "Oh, that'll do." People are enjoying them. That's that's. I want to improve it each time. You know, but it, it's it, it's expensive as well to put videos out. You know, so it's especially with as much time as it takes for you to get everything together. And I, I know the the supplies for your channel. All the CDs, I assume you've probably went through those DJing CDs by now and are having to restock yeah, and everything. Yeah, well, that's a good thing because, because, I mean, everyone's got CDs in the attic that they don't use. I mean, everyone's got them probably on their shelf right now in front of them that, that they've probably not looked at for the last two years, gathering dust. And that's the good thing. Um, I work with a lot of people. I'm a, I work in a school with uh, working with special needs during during my real life. Day. and um, 
I just get donated CDs and in fact the uh, the theme music to my channel which is called Bullet From A Gun that was actually written and um, sung by a guy that I work with called oh. Paul Mooney and now he's, he's not an artist or anything like that he's just setting up a new band now but um, he actually had a single he released a long time ago that didn't do too too well for him and he had a box full of CDs as well so <laughs> that's that's the stock that's the stock that I'm going through at the moment but uh, yeah I mean there's always CDs out there and if I run out then I'll just go out to a charity shop and uh, and I'll and I'll some there and that's doing some good too absolutely absolutely um, so the name of the channel Temple Boy Turnings I understand the turnings the the Temple Boy um, where did that come from okay it's very simple it sounds very mysterious but um, I live in a little coastal village called Temple Boy oh okay it's as simple as that. <laughs> Yeah, it's Temple Boy in County Sligo and uh, on the west coast of Ireland. And it's just a small little parish and it just it just made sense. TT, that's that's my logo, is the Temple, Temple Boy Turner. So. Okay, that makes I, sense then. <laughs> and I'm the Temple Boy Turner, so that's, that name is stuck now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so out of all the projects, I know you've showed the first one and the most recent one. Um, do you have any particular one that stands out the most to you? Or um, I've got a few of them here. Uh, I, I tell you, I'll show you one here. It's nothing special, but the story behind it. There's one here. It's just a bowl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very plain and simple bowl, and it's got a little bit of, I don't know if you can see it there, can you? There's... There's some blue in it there. Uh, a little bit, I can see. I yeah, think. but it's it's just a basic bowl. But I turned that bowl the very first week that I was wood turning, oh. and I and I used an old drill, three screwdrivers, and uh, an old wood chisel to make that bowl. <laughs> All right. So, and uh, that's how I started. I didn't have a lathe to start with. I just had an old an old drill, and I bolted it to the bench and. Uh, <laughs> And, um, and off I went, and I learned from videos on, on, on YouTube, Mike Walt and, and Steve, Stephen Argo and Carl Jacobson and all these gurus of YouTube world. And uh, I learned from them how to use the, the tools and stuff. And then I've got a, I've got a very good buddy in, in Canada. Um, he saw I was enjoying it. He would turns as well. And uh, he sent me a few pounds through PayPal one day and got me started. I bought my first lathe, and that's... The rest is history, as they say. Uh, yeah. That's, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, so that's that's probably one that's pretty close to my heart. And uh, and I'm, I'm kind of really enjoying this kind of stuff that I'm doing at the moment. It's No one's ever done it. Um, it yeah, it's very gothic, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and some have said kinky too, but they, they're great. Um, <laughs> uh, it, nobody has ever done anything like that. I'm trying to make wood look clothing at the moment, so I'm, I'm experimenting. I even I even went to the, the dollar store, or as you call it, over there, and bought a pack of buttons today. So the next one's going to have have buttons on it. So okay. it's just you know I I do that. I go around all the cheap shops, and uh, if I see something, I I buy it out of impulse and say, oh, that might look good on a project someday. <laughs> and I've got drawers and cupboards and all sorts filled with with stuff that I will use eventually but yeah that's that's the part of it I want to always try and I've got a very artistic side and uh, I don't want to just stick to wood turning I want to try and incorporate all sorts so. very nice very nice um, yeah, so that's pretty much I don't know I've got this I actually made this one the other day I don't do many bowls okay but uh, I was experimenting the other day and I, I came up with this one and I've incorporated the CDs into it again. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, butterfly? Yeah, so that's actually compact disc cases. Oh, I've okay. Col like I've colored before, but I stuck just a black image of a butterfly underneath it. So it gives it a 3D kind of um, effect in the bottom. And then okay. colored around the side. So it's, yeah, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Just, just experimenting, you know. Yes, sir. 
Now, I know that you said you like to leave in the, the successes and, uh, you know, the not-so-successful projects just so people yeah. can kind of see both sides of it. Um, I know you have a clip that we can that we can show everyone that kind of gives an idea of your channel and shows some of the mishaps that you've had. And I, I've seen the video. It's actually, it made me chuckle. Good. Um, Good. Let's have a look at your video. Okay. Hi guys, hi guys, hi 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 guys, and welcome back to Temple Boy Turners. I am Steve. What it comes down to is not the dream car to store. Yeah, that's broken the seal. No one wants to be alone. I can fly. Oh, whipping me. Stop whipping me. Past 5,000, halfway towards 6,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers plus now. Ha! Sorry guys, no happy ending with this one. Steve, I, I really enjoy that. Um, I, I do want viewers to know that the unsuccessful attempts aren't, you know, as constant as the successful because you are, I feel like you're very talented at what you do, but sometimes working with unusual materials, you're going to have a mix up. Like I know there's one video where you made an ink pen out of candy, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, that one kind of exploded, correct? Uh, it, 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 it. That pen was actually a prize for a, a lady called Christine Pitt. Um, I, I think I ran a competition when I got 2,000 subscribers, and um, they had to, my subscribers had to guess what I'd made a pen out of. And, of course, the last thing you're going to think of is, is candy, but she, <laughs> she guessed right and a couple of other people guessed. And the prize was that I was going to make them their own personal pen out of candy. Now, I'd made one be beforehand, so I knew exactly what I was in for, but I knew it was going to make for a good video because it, it's going to be disaster. It's candy at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun, and I got a, a lot of good feedback from that video. And it, yeah, <clears throat> why not? Uh, exactly, why not? <laughs> um, and I know that, you know, People that are watching this, not like you said, not everybody has a lathe and gone or no. a drill. In your first case, where you use the drill, that's pretty impressive. I never would have thought of that. But um, the things you do make are really, really beautiful um, and very interesting. A lot of them, and I just wanted people to know that um, you've created a website, correct? Um, I have, yeah, yeah. I've just launched it actually uh, last week. Um, quite simple, temple. Excuse the dog in the background. She's. Uh, I'll she's cut outside. all that up. <laughs> um, yeah, TempleboyTurnins.com. It's very simple, and you can head over there and uh, and uh, see see uh, see some of the creations anyway, if not all of them. And uh, there's a, a blog and stuff like that. You can you can head over and just say hi. Okay. Um. TempleboyTurnings.com. I'll put a link in the yeah. description below, and I'll also link your channel below. Um, is there any? Do you want me to? Do you want me to go? And, I'm going to go and sort her out. One second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's 
sorry. No problem. Uh, Dogs, you got to love them. <laughs> They'll always pick the wrong moment. <laughs> sorry about that. No problem. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Um, let's see what it has. Okay. So, Temple Boy Turnings with an S dot com, and that's yes. where everybody can check out pictures of everything that you or most of a lot of the things that you've made. I did check out the website beforehand a little. Um, it's, I'll put a link in the description below, um, and I'll also link your YouTube channel so that people can check out your projects. And I recommend that everybody, anybody, I, whether you're into woodworking or not, watch the video, give it a try. It's very interesting um, watching all the shavings go everywhere with the music that you put in the background. And just, it's, if you're having a stressful day, watch Temple Boy Turnings. It's a very relaxing channel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, is there anything that you would like to say to your loyal subscribers? Yeah, just um, just thank you, really. I mean, I've said in past videos, I'm always saying how blown away I am. I mean, like I say, I'm I'm only running a YouTube uh, channel for just well, just under two years, and uh, the amount of subscribers I've got, it's it's just built every day. I, I, every time I look at the computer or the phone, it, you know, there's more subscribers and there's more people leaving comments. The comments I get are absolutely brilliant. I mean, even even the trolls of the community, <laughs> as we call them, are brilliant. I I love any kind of comment, whether it's sarcastic, whether it's taken the absolute out of me. I don't care. I, <laughs> I, I take all that and I run with it and have fun. Everything about what I do is art in my in my mind. And the videotography of it, the the music, the making the videos, what I make and the comments are all art because they're all different people that I've never met and probably will never meet them. And uh, to have such a brilliant community um, from something that that I've done through some depression and, and and getting over my own personal stuff is just amazing and uh, I'll keep doing it as long as uh, my loyal fans are out there and enjoying it. I'm, I'm really glad they're enjoying it. Awesome. Yeah, your numbers are growing. I know when I started you were below 10,000 and that's only been a few months ago and now you're almost at 13 last, last I checked. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's a testament to how great your channel is, I think, you know. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Well, Steve, I'll put the link in the description below for your web page and also your YouTube channel. Um, I wish you much success, and I'll let you tell everyone bye. Thanks very much. Listen, thank you very much for, for, for the opportunity the interview. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I think he's doing some marvelous stuff and I think it's got a, a really good future. So thanks a million guys for watching and uh, I'll see you on the other side.